Hi everyone, this is Bam Dele from Delores Studios. You are welcome to another episode of Android Programming. I uh, will be looking at the Android material design, focusing on floating action button. The, the Android floating action button is another interesting component introduced in material design. The floating action button flows on UI in a circular shape with an action attached to it that an unclick listener is always attached to that particular button. So we'll be focusing on that particular aspect of the Android material design. So I have an application where I built uh, using the Android, the Android Studios, in which I built the uh, floating uh, icon. But I would like to walk you through on the major steps that you really need to put in place before you have this application full and running. Uh, in my uh, Android Studios, uh, we dash straight to the uh, the build gradle, which we'll, we'll be talking about the dependencies that were used in the course of the application, the compile file tree, the test compile, the Android support app compiles, and the support design. These two components are very important. Okay, I uh, will be looking at the dimension XML. Let's look at the dimension that we set for our layout. The activity horizontal margin, we give it to the 16 dp. Likewise, the vertical margin is 16 dp, and a fab margin is 16 dp. Okay, all right, I uh, will look at the activity main XML. All right, we'll get through that in our layout, the activity main. Uh, eczema you can see the floating action button is added in the below layout all uh, this layout contains the toolbar and floating action button needed for the activity yeah if you can notice uh, we call on the main activity the two contexts and also it has the app bar layout widget uh, and the support version 7 widget toolbar as well okay the Android support design widget floating action button, which is very, very important. These aspects are being declared. So the layout as the coordinator layout as the parent layout. Okay, uh, we'll be looking at the content main XML, which, which houses the content of the, uh, of the application. Okay, it's a relative layout uh, with a behavior the app layout and also some context so we gotta show in with the layout activity main which we actually took about so it has a text view that holds the text android floating action button okay uh that's a rundown on that aspect of the application i would like us to look at the java classes where we have the main activity uh the click event listener of Fab is same as the normal back button click event, you know. So if you notice this aspect, this snippet of the of the of the, this snippet of code actually holds the floating action bar button, getting the ID of the particular action button and calling an intent, you know, trying to once there is a click, which particular class must carry this um functionality so if we'll notice the new message activity class is being called anytime you click on the button this is very important so an intent is being attached to it this takes us down to the new message activities that was called so this actually calls on the um, the activity new message uh, layout which we have here in the layout uh, uh, folder okay and also set the action bar up you know, you gotta display the home as up enabled. You know, you gonna put that as true. So with this um, little analysis on how the code should look like, you should be able to have your action button placed below your uh, your application layout, and also an intent is being attached to it with an on-click listener, so that once you click on that particular action button, it takes reference to a page or probably it uh it uh, it gives an action so i would like to run this code in my generation emulator for us to really see how this flow is being done 
I'll upload this um, source code to my GitHub account, which is right shown on your screen. And I would like you to pick it up from there. You know, you can use it to incorporate in your application. You can add the stylish Android material look to your application. So I'll click on my run button to actually get it running on my journey motion emulator. All right, so it's been built successfully. Okay. Let me launch up my, my emulator. Centralize it. Let's wait for the display of the application. All right, we have our floating action button as the title. And also, if you notice very vividly, you can find a red icon with a message or uh, look or uh, uh, fabricant. Once we click on it, which is the action listener we attach to it and an intent to another class called new message activity with a back button, the up as uh, enabled we talked about. So this is an activity which handles the uh, action button. So this can, uh, you can as well use this, you can make it send a message you can make it be any sort of activity you really want to call on with the action bar so i i believe with this explanation you should be able to get yourself full and running with the floating action button of the android material design thank you very very much for listening hope you understand one or two things and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i love you all bye bye